Hello, I'm Matt Mueller, editor of Screen International, and I'm delighted to introduce you to our inaugural Spain Stars of Tomorrow showcase, in which we select 10 rising Spanish actors, writers, and directors who are already making a name for themselves locally and who we feel are ready for wider international recognition. Spain Stars of Tomorrow is a spin-off of Screen International's long-running and highly successful UK and Ireland Stars of Tomorrow, which since it first launched in 2004 has highlighted some of the most recognisable British and Irish talents working in today's screen industries right at the start of their careers. From Benedict Cumberbatch and director Andrea Arnold to more recently Normal People star Paul Mescal. It's a thrill to expand this showcase to Spain this year, and we are delighted to be partnering on this first edition of Spain Stars of Tomorrow with our headline sponsor, Film In and the Atlantida Mallorca Film Fest, as well as our supporting partner, the Institute of Cinematography and Visual Arts. We thank them for their support and we look forward to working with them on future editions. I'd also like to thank Screen International's Spain correspondent, Elizabeth Cabeza, who curated the selection of rising talents, working tirelessly to pull together the outstanding selection of Spain stars of tomorrow you are about to meet. So without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to hand you over to Elizabeth to introduce you to our 2021 Spain Stars of Tomorrow. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Cabeza, the Spanish correspondent for Screen International, and I'm delighted to have had the chance to curate the first edition of Spain Stars of Tomorrow and choose these 10 rising stars. They are proof of the energy of the local talent and a landscape that will hopefully not only keep, but extend its diversity. They are writer, directors, actors, actresses, and they are all passionate about their job and full of promise with their work and plans for the very near future. It's a pleasure to introduce to you the first Spain Stars of Tomorrow. Part of the first uh, Screen International Spain Starts of Tomorrow feels amazing. I studied in England for, for a number of years and I was uh, a follower of uh, every edition and a uh, number of uh, people that I admire just uh, went through the editions of uh, UK and Ireland and so it's just great to be part of it, yeah. I'm so happy for being here and thank you so much to Screen International for selecting me. I feel very happy. I think it's a huge opportunity. I feel very good and so I, I will enjoy it a lot. I feel uh, so lucky for being part of, of this and I think it's a big opportunity to show the talent uh, we have here. It's very beautiful to see initiatives uh, of this kind that promote and get visibility. Obviously I'm very excited to meet other uh, stars of tomorrow because you can change our experiences and um, backgrounds. I feel very happy to have been selected for the first edition of Spain Stars of Tomorrow because I feel now it's the first time in history that Spanish industry has the chance to be seen everywhere in the world. I'm really happy to think that there is someone that, that feels or thinks that I'm a rising star. I'm, uh, actually, I'm really excited, so for me it's uh, like a really great experience. Hopefully all this young talent, young directors, young actors release will premiere the new films, the next films, here in Mallorca, in Atlantida, with a collaboration with the help of Screen International. I remember being so, like, I didn't know what I was doing, but I had an agent at the time that she really insisted me to do a, a workshop with an English teacher, he's called Giles Foreman, who really said to me like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I think I want to be an actress. And he was like, okay, then just do it. I started very randomly. When I was 14, I went to an audition with my mother and I did the, the audition and, and I got called. My first contact with this, this wall was when I, I was 10 years old and I met a director and I did the casting and I was selected. I remember I got on stage and wow, 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 at that moment, I knew I wanted to be there for the rest of my life and it seems I'm still here. At the age of 11, um, there was an open audition. They didn't select me, but I was finalist. A few months later, there was another audition, and that one, I got it. I was born in Canary Island, in, in Lanzarote, 
and I went to Madrid when, when I was 17 years old to study journalism and then I discovered the, the, the world of acting and, and I just fell in love with that. I studied fine arts so I, I, never, I never thought that I would end up in, in this world of the movie Aquelarre. That was my first experience in the world of the cinema and then came Anne. It was a, a big surprise to win the Goya. I wanted to be a doctor, but then I was in a shooting, in a commercial shooting in Spain. So after that, I decided to study uh, filmmaking. I, I came from a very little town in the south of Spain, and, and we have no cinema. I, I think I, I always wanted to do something with stories that I have been heard from my grandma, from my aunts, from all the women in, in, at home and I, I just wanted to continue this traditional way of telling uh, but through films. In my case, I think it was people. People that I found along the way. People that pushed me, truly. People that made me believe that this was possible. Uh, people that received me with open arms and contacts in which I had no one uh, and told me, you know, come here, let's make something together. satisfying thing maybe is to experience more lives than than my life. I love incarnate other lives, other emotions and, and feelings, other point of view. It's very beautiful embody other people that you made in your head, you know. And to feel free to be another person. One of the best things that I like is that I can meet with a lot of people and I can travel a lot and also that I can play a lot of characters. I really love cinema <laughs> and I really love shooting. It's like to spend some weeks doing the same thing with all the stress and the tension and, and the something that happens in this moment. Everything seems to click. Time, space, the people that you're working with, that rhythm, that, the choreography of the scene and there's something, it's a moment of bliss, and you live for those. I think that cinema is something essential to construct us, to construct our own identities. And thanks to the movies, I started to feel, to get involved more about my own culture, to understand. And I think that the movie actually helped me to reconcile one of my, one part of my, of myself. Spain is a, it's a very diverse place with a lot of cultures. They tell different stories that I think are so necessary. We always felt we were, well, that there were a lot of industries that were above us. And I feel now we are more in an equal uh, place. And I feel for everyone to work knowing that more people are going to see you, it's ambitious and it creates ambition and it creates a bigger aim. Yeah, I'm really excited because I think that right now in the Spanish industry we are getting a lot of new voices that are telling new stories. We would like to, to see more diversity at the Spanish film industry. Different people and different um, nationalities. Um... I have the feeling that that is changing in Spain, but we have to keep going and keep um, fighting. <laughs> I sometimes feel that the international cinephilia knows better Spanish uh, independent cinema than the national institution or even national audiences. So I think we, we deserve to be <laughs> to exist, really. And we do need to include all, all those different voices. If, if we make an mp3 sort of sound wave out of films and we cut all those diverse tones up, you know, there are up and, and lower from, from the normal frequencies. I think that with the platforms, we have created a very sustainable industry where you can get money from it, and, and everyone is working, and everyone has work, and we are here now with the work, and that's amazing. But I would love to see how these platforms, they invest in more authorial movies, and to invest in, in people that, that has crazy ideas, because we've got the budget now to do it, I think. So let's invest in more crazy things. <laughs>